Good day, everyone. Let's try to solve this geometry problem. Now, we're given quadrilateral BDEC with a circle of radius 9 units inside it. Measure of side BC is 45, and from point B, a segment is drawn going to side CE at point A, and this segment is tangent to the circle. Now, we're going to find the length of AB. Now, as we can see, AB forms a triangle with BC and AC. This means that if we can determine the measure of AC and BC, or at least we can find an expression that represents them, we can readily solve for the length of AB. Now, clearly though, we have the measure of BC that is 45. However, we do not have AC yet, so that is what we are going to work out first. Now, let us draw a radius going to the point of tangency at BC. We have that one. And let's try to name this point of tangency as point M. We do the same thing with respect to AC and call the point of tangency as point N. Now, since these parts that we have drawn are radius of a circle, then they will have the same measure of 9 units. So that's why we label them as segments with measure of 9 units. Now at this point, recall the radius perpendicularity theorem which states that the radius of a circle is perpendicular to the tangent line at the point of tangency. That means these two here are perpendicular. And since they are perpendicular, then the figure here, this one, is a square and the sides, therefore, are equal. So since the sides are equal, we now have CM equals to CN, that is equals to 9 units. Since CM is 9 and BC is equals to 45, then MB is equals to 36. Now this time, recall the, tang the tangent or the two tangent theorem, which states that two tangents to a circle from the same exterior point are congruent. Now since MB and this point, this part here, is tangent to the circle from point B, then the measures will be equal. Since this is 36, therefore, this part here is also 36. Now, the same two tangent theorem could be applied to these parts here. Because these two segments, this one here and segment AN, are tangent to the circle from an exterior point that is A. But we do not have the measure of AN, so let's just label it as X. And since again, by the two tangent theorem, this part here and this one are equal, so this is x as well. Now, as you can see, AC is now composed of two segments. You have CN, which measures 9 units, and AN, which measures x. So therefore, the measure of AC is just equal to 9 plus x. The same thing goes with this one here. AB is now composed of two segments, this one measuring x and this one measuring 36. So AB is just equals to 36 plus x. Now, since we have now the expressions representing the measures of the sides of triangle BCA, we can now consider the triangle. As you can see, because of this label here which is given, we can say that this triangle is a right triangle, so the sides have a relationship that can be established using the Pythagorean theorem. So by using the Pythagorean theorem, the relationship among the sides will be 45 squared for this one is equals to 9 plus x squared equals 36 plus x squared. Simplify, you have 2025 plus 81 plus 18x plus x squared is equals to x squared plus 72x plus 1296. x squared can be eliminated. So what is left will be 
18x minus 72x is equals to 1,296. Then we transpose 2,025 to the right side. That's why that becomes negative 2,025. Same thing with the 81. That becomes minus 81. Simplifying, we have negative 54x is equals to negative 810. Dividing both sides by negative 54x is equals to 15. But remember, AB is equals to 36 plus X, so we, and we have X is equals to 15. We replace X by 15, therefore AB is equals to 51. This is our answer, and the problem is solved. So that's it for this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more challenging geometry problems. Thank you so much. Enjoy learning.